Purse Empowerment TV. I'm your host, Shawnee Curry Stankville, and we are still talking about credit because that is one of our goals to make sure that you get some good credit all up in your purse or wallet in some people's case, right? Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna give you four things that your creditors may be withholding from you simply because if they withhold information that means that they can withhold your progression and once you have some power you know you can progress right so the first thing is the people that are calling you again and again and again may not even be the people that you actually owe right so there goes a point of power for you right there get some verification from them say hey where did you get my debt from hey how did I even get connected to you? Can you prove that I actually owe you? And if they can't prove it, then it is likely that that would have to be legally removed from your credit report, okay? The second thing that they do not want you to know, they don't want you to know that you have some level of protection, right? They want you to think that you are just out there by yourself, they can call you as much as they want, they can leave you, voicemail after voicemail, send you letters after letters, they can harass you for payment, so on and so forth. They think that you don't have any protection. Well, you do. You can use the CFPB. Those acronyms stand for the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So basically what happens is you can go online, simply log in and say, hey, listen, this company has really been harassing me again and again and again, and they could actually face a large Fine, so they don't want you to know that they can't necessarily do that. Sue who? Okay, so a lot of the times they like to use that as a place of negotiation. A creditor likes to threaten to sue you, to take you to court, okay? So the main thing is, if this particular debt that they are threatening to sue you for, if it is past seven years, okay? Let me clarify seven years because a lot of times people will just omit a debt because it falls up under seven years. It's not just seven years in time, it's seven years per activity, meaning the last time you had a conversation with them, the last time that you sent a payment, the last time that you promised to to pay the last time you sent them a check that would mark the seven year period okay now if you are lawfully within the seven years of time they cannot take you to court okay and it should not be on your credit report either all right and then our last point would be thing number four you want to get some level of written notice, right? If you make a payment agreement, you not only wanna say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and settle this payment with you, I'm gonna need something that is going to go ahead and say that I have paid you in full, okay? If they cannot provide you with a notice synced in simultaneously with the time of payment, that's not something that you want to pay at that time. You need to get a written notice stating that I have paid this particular debt in full. I do hope that you have gotten at least four ways to really position yourself in a better credit position as it relates to communicating with your creditors. It's not something for you to fear. They want to make you think that they have all the power when in fact you are the one with all the power. I hope that you feel richer connecting with me because every time that I connect with you, I feel a whole lot richer. And if you've gained at least one thing that has made you feel like, you know what, I can really do this credit thing. I can really, you know, have these conversations from a power position. I can really feel more protected. You know what I need you to do? I need you to like this video. I need you to share it and I need you to drop that comment. But don't go yet because you know I'm going to pay you. So open up your spiritual purse, your auntie's purse, the credit bureau's purse because I'm going to give you some money, honey. <laughs> you know we're talking about credit. No one more time. <laughs> right? Alrighty, I do hope that you feel richer and I hope that you've gotten at least one thing that's gonna help you put some power in your purse.